Where's my stuff? You get a sticker right. for that. The way we're going to do this, we so you could see the GNU Radio merchandise that a, a few of us have been sporting. This is new for us. We haven't like opened the store for everybody really, uh, but we did bring a handful of merchandise that we're going to give away uh, for anybody who wants to answer some trivia questions. Okay, before you start, like I'm, I'm just gonna give you stuff, right? So you might end up with a sweater that doesn't fit or something, but they're different sizes, so you can you can trade. I'm just gonna leave that up to you, okay? You're fighting to give stuff away. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so these are a uh, little bit of like history, as, you, as we saw earlier, this is a big thing, a uh, field of mine, a history of radio, so hopefully, uh, hopefully it's not, I don't think it's too American-centric, but it very well could be, that sneaks in, you know, when, 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 you're, American. when you're American, it just does. <laughs> uh, so we'll see, I have a handful, I think we have six pieces, I have some extra questions if nobody gets these. So, uh, I'll ask a question, people raise your hand, I'm just going to randomly choose whoever's hand I see first. Alright, question number one. Who invented the super heterodyne receiver? I can't even choose you. <laughs> Armstrong. Edward Armstrong. No, it's Dr. J. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number two. In 1880, Oliver Heaviside invented and patented what type of transmission line? I'm sorry? No. Uh, sorry, like transmission line theory. If you think about transmission line theory, that's what I'm... Uh, that coaxial? coaxial cable. <laughs> Heaviside also is the one that ta that taught us how to use complex numbers to do signal processing. So you have him to thank for that. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. No, sorry, totally. Speak close and louder. And uh, really louder? Yeah. I thought it was really loud. No. All right. Um, all right, I'll skip over that one. Yeah, I'm going to skip over that one. So, um, in his paper on computable numbers, what did Alan Turing disprove? <laughs> yeah, everybody, and the Germans especially should be able to, uh, to answer this. Um, Nobody. Maybe something like Enigma is not safe. No, no, no. So um, I brought this up. This actually came up in our, our, our IRC chat room uh, the other day. And it's related to computing and numerical processing. Uh, no, not that one. He, that was another paper of his. That was another. Uh, no, this is one of. PNP or? Is it the PNP thing? No. Nobody, nobody's proven P equals NP. No, I mean. That's why I'm asking. No, this is this is one of the like the main challenges. So Gerdel, uh, you know, did a lot of work on this, but uh, this was the completeness theorem. The idea that mathematics is complete was disproved by Turing in his in his paper. That was his master thesis. It's where the Turing machine concept comes from. It's basically the foundation of numerical computation and numerical computing. Come okay. On. So no one, so, no one will get this. No one will get that. Complete theory is good though. No, it's not. No. He's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Consistency was Girdle. Completeness was Turing. Do the questions here. Yeah. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can say it. Yeah. Um, he has the gift. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. My questions, my answers. All right. Who initially developed the concept of information theory? Shannon! All right. All right. I, saw, I saw you, so you're... Do that? Yep. Yep. Uh, <laughs> As I said, it's whoever I see first. It's not fair. What? Trivia is not fair. Uh, this one is a totally unfair question. <laughs> Who invented the Cooley Tukey algorithm? What? The Cooley Tukey, the power of two uh, FFT. Oh, you did? Cooley Tukey? No. It's a trick question. <laughs> Back there, anybody? Yeah, yeah. It's a trick question, given the, the shirt. Uh, Worst case, it's done, yeah, done there. <laughs> no, it's actually, Cooley Tukey uh, reinvented it in uh, 1965. Friedrich Gauss originated it in 1806. Jay! No, it's, yeah. it's, well, it's one of those... Matt Edis jokes that we don't call it the Gauss algorithm because too many things are already named after him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's one of those interesting com concepts where we, he invented it for a different purpose. Nobody had need of a fast Fourier transform in the, in, the, in, the, in the 19th century until we had, we wanted to do numerical computations, and then Cooley Tukey realized they could do this. And in the 80s, somebody went back and saw this Gauss paper and said, oh, he actually 
He actually discovered this way, way, way early. All right. Uh, here's a math question, very simple math question, I hope. Nyquist tells us that we have to sample at what rate to capture the information of the signal. Hold on. I'm going to, all right. Double what? Nope. Somebody else? Double the bandwidth of the, of the signal. Yeah. Yes, finally. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> hey, we have one more? Yes, we have one more. Great. Uh, I have to pull up a different set. Um, which one should I choose this one? Again, this is more modern thing, so uh, we've talked a lot about it today. This number never came up, but in a 20 megahertz LTE signal, how many subcarriers are there? <laughs> I saw Tom's hand first. 2048. Very good. Oh, sorry. I have no interest. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some stickers. Like, if, if just start handing out the stickers. All right, thank you. I just wanted to have a little bit of fun with that. I have, I have one. Okay, so now we stop the hacking session. But if you leave, I'll please take all of your garbage with you. Please have us clear up the from Thank you.